Online dating can be really frustrating, especially when men don't write you back. You message 10 men, you get a response from one or maybe none. Why is that? Well, there's actually research behind it. According to research, men are much less discriminating than women when it comes to swiping right. They'll swipe right on pretty much anybody, but once they have a match, they're less likely to contact or respond to messages. It seems like the thrill of getting a match is enough for a lot of men. That's one of the many reasons why online dating can make you want to pull your hair out and why men don't write back. But I have five tips that explain why men don't write back and what you can do about it. Number one, he doesn't like your photos. Men and women are visual creatures. You must post your best photos online to capture his attention. And if you don't have current photos that show you in several poses like close-ups, full body activity shots and photos that show you doing what you love, then get a friend to take some photos on their phone and post them right away. Great photos can immediately turn around your online dating success rate. So if he doesn't like your pics, it's not a rejection of you, it's your photos. And that may be why he's not writing you back. So remember, it's not personal if your photos don't best represent you, but do post your best photos. Number two, he may be getting tons of messages a day. A good looking man who's tall, who's educated, is popular online. He's probably getting most of the messages and he's inundated from many women. He may not be reading them all. So if you're posting comments, if you're messaging men who are really good looking, who seem to be the top tier, you're probably not going to hear back from them and it's not personal if he is inundated with messages and he's one of the most popular people online. So choose people who are not the top 2% and you'll have much better luck. Number three, he's not a paid member of a site and you are. It's not always obvious if somebody is a paid member on a site like Match.com. Many people are able to go on and search for matches even though they can't read or respond to your messages. So it's not personal if he can't read or respond to your messages. On Match, there's actually a thing that says subscriber. And when I go online with clients, we look for that subscriber badge because that is important. You'll know that he is a paid member. Number four, your messages aren't engaging enough. There is a science to how to write a message that gets a response. So if you're not writing something catchy or fun, or if you're not ending with a question, and this is really important, you probably won't get a response from many of the men that you message. So it's not personal if you just haven't captured his attention yet, but you can learn to write more engaging messages. This is something that I work with women on. And just ending with a question will get people to respond. I have so many, seen so many people who just will answer your question and then not ask back. And then you're like, where do we go from here? So if you know what that feels like, remember to ask questions and also don't make your messages longer than his. This is also a really important thing. Try to match their energy. Number five, your bio is not unique enough. Online dating is all about how you market yourself. Would you buy a product with poorly written copy or bad photos? I don't think so. So why would a total stranger be lured in by a boring bio that says nothing? Maybe it's all cliches. Maybe you don't set yourself apart by writing about yourself and all the unique quirks and talents and skills or whatever. Write something that's different from everybody else. And while it's not easy to write about yourself, I do offer three online essay packages where I will write your bio for you based on questions that you answer. A great bio stands out and increases your online dating success and it will give him something to write back about. So it's definitely not personal if your bio doesn't have pizzazz, but do write something more interesting and you'll probably hear from more men. As you can see, when men don't write back, it's not usually personal. It just requires a few tweaks. 
And if you put these five tips into practice, you will see that there's a lot you can do to improve your success online and get men to write you back. Let me know which of these tips are the most helpful and let me know which ones you're going to implement today.